okay welcome back to my youtube channel this is Sarale analysis machine learning tutorial series uh first of all i would like to apologize for red uploading of our tutorial series actually we had the we had a fixed the timetable which made us to become unable to upload the remaining part of this tutorial series so we are very sorry for that so let's carry on uh, in let me just remind you of what you covered in your previous tutorial in your previous tutorial uh, we learned how to to dump a model let me see here we learned how to train we learned how to dump a model in a disk. Yes, we trained it. We dumped the model and, uh, made, and we made a testing. I mean, we tested a model. So, uh, in this video, we are going to actually, we are, we are going to have a bit long video because I will, we are going to deal with the first key. So we are going to 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 make a home page, you know. We are going to link Frasky with CSS files. Uh, we are going to receive user input, process them, and uh, convert them into NumPy array. Yeah, actually, those. I mean, we are going to cover the these two two videos in one dealing with the fast with, with the frasky static files receiving input then we will have will actually will remain with a single video which is to test the, our deployed model and make a conclusion so stuck with me do not skip this tutorial series uh, <coughs> let me let me show you something here there is a folder named salary so here there is our data set there is a template and a static so let's copy these files and the folders I'm going into PyCharm this is my project folder then a frasky okay then I'm going to create folder named salary array for casting for casting then after we need to copy and paste yes uh, by short summary static files static folder store all static files which are the CSS images JavaScript files and the template folder store files with dot HTML extension so let's start with ranking our frask app with its static files so click here then i'm going to open with sublime text editor so if you like to use sublime text editor make sure you you download it so here is our first task in this video uh, we are going to link our app frask app with a static files so here let's do something here this this bracket something like this url url underscore for bracket then static this should be something like this static yes then file name the file name of our static file something like this then after we need to put a single quote right here here there is a single quote then we need to put a bracket and then after 
Yeah, actually we are done with linking our Flask app with static files. So <coughs> the next thing we are going to do is to specify uh, action of our form where we'll uh, user input submitted by a form handled. So we are going to specify Python Flask function for dealing with this so bracket then you are liable for yes you are liable for something like this we need to you are liable for single quote predict actually should look like this So this is our first part dealing with index.html. So here we needed to display a text after making prediction predict text. So this is the text which will tell a user that your your employee salary is 200 US USD dollars. So this is how we, we have uh, linked the uh, our Flask app with static files, and how we have linked the, our form uh, with action Python Flask function for 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 processing user input. So right here we are done so the the next thing we are going to do is le, le, let me click here frasky Benny salary forecasting okay let me copy the path of this file here let me create a new file dot py then control save should be yes so this is our python file where we are going oops we are going to to create python flask function we are going to specify the root of our function and so on. So that's it. So let me import import numpy as np something like this numpy as np. Okay. Let me increase the font size of yeah of Sublime text editor so much better you can see okay then if from frasky from frasky import frasky then we need to import a request mm, yes then a json file json file uh, then after render template render template yes control s let me, let me see something here this actually this is our file let me okay so we need it to to import it from flask bootstrap from frasky underscore bootstrap bootstrap import boost bootstrap okay oops something like this then import 
pin core that's it so we need to specify that this is frasky this is a frasky app name then after we need to load our model model is equal to pinko we are going to load we are loading a model by using pinko model.load bracket open then name of model which is model.pkl uh, then lead by lead binary for reading a model so <coughs> this is data science data science project folder then there is a salary prediction let me copy a model this is our model let's copy and paste in our PyCharm project folder Prasky uh, salary forecasting then let me paste the model yes so far so nice let's carry on so far we have loaded our model so we are going to create a load load for a function yeah this is the load then we are going to create a function called the home yes then it needed to return return render render template it needed to return index.html html yes something like this i hope everything is is looking fine so after this we need to create another python function so before let me remind you something about Frask. before creating a function you need to specify a load for your function to execute so up dot load then bracket something like this predict then methods methods is equal to post so methods is equal to post okay the name of our function is predicting predicting something like this so if you remember our form have I will receive test score of employee interview score yes and uh, make a prediction so we need let me write something int features actually we need to receive input from user then then after we need to convert them into integers so this is python function for converting for x in request request dot form dot valves actually what we need here is uh, to receive those to receive input from a uh, form we have created then after uh, to convert those input fit I mean input user input into integers and actually we are using it int built-in function with the help of for 
for for loop in python so then we needed to convert those integers features into array pan pandas no numpy numpy array so final features is equal to bracket I need the square bracket np dot array np dot array then a bracket int features so integer features are going to be after receiving user input we transformed them into integers number then we needed to change those integers number into numpy array right so that is what we have done for two Ryan's bureau predictive function so let me let me let me save control s yes hope changes will be here yes that's nice then after we needed to make a prediction 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 is equal to model model dot predict model dot predict mm, yes <coughs> model dot predict then we pass the final final features right after making prediction so we need to round up our result into two decimal press right so we are going to use round the python function so output is equal to round python built in function then you predict at zero we specify a number actually around the python function takes two parameter the number you want to round and uh, the digit you want to round so this is the number we want to round which is a prediction result and the number of digit which is equal to two then after we need it to return right return render template return render template bracket index dot html then after we need it to specify a prediction text prediction underscore text mm, is equal to prediction text is equal to employee employee sorare sorare should should be usd dollars then something like this oops something like this dot python format then output output so thus at the end of our predictive function which is responsible for making prediction